What I'm going to do to it now is called butterflying it. And it's a very simple and satisfying procedure, but it has to be done with a little bit of care. So I'm just going to locate that ridge and put it at the bottom there. Keep it open with my fingers and use the tip of a knife just to open the cone. With the squid opened, give the inside a final tweak with a cloth to remove any traces of membrane. Next, take a bluntish, serrated table knife and gently score the soft inside surface in a diamond pattern without cutting all the way through. And the effect is to produce these diamond scorings on the inside of the squid, which help it to cook through fast on a griddle or a barbecue, or even in a hot pan. But they also create a lovely network of ridges, which is perfect if you're going to marinade the squid, because that's where your flavourings are going to get trapped. <laughs> With a sharp knife, cut the butterflied squid into bite-sized sections ready for the marinade. Trim the tough edges from the wings and prepare them in the same way. This dish comes alive with a marinade of de-seeded, finely chopped red chilies, finely chopped garlic, black pepper, salt and a trickle of olive oil. It's tossed together to get those ingredients all over the squid. And you can see now the fantastic job that these grooves, little crevices in the squid do in picking up and holding on to the little bits of garlic and chilli in the marinade. The marinated squid goes butterflied side up onto a very hot griddle. By the time I've finished laying them all down, it's almost time to turn the first one over. As soon as you turn them over onto the scored side, the squid will tend to curl up. That means you'll have to turn them over one more time so that the bits that come around to the top go underneath and get properly cooked. All in all, it's about a minute on each side and then a minute on that curl. On a nice sunny day, you can do this outside on a barbecue. It works extremely well on one of these ridged cast iron griddle plates, but you can even just use a hot frying pan heated without any oil to a searing temperature. Make sure it's a good solid thick one. However you do it, it's always a delicious dish, served with a few green leaves and maybe a garnish of home-pickled chilies.